promises in the, um, the press kit was that you could test the impossible in 17 questions. Yeah. What are, what are some of the questions? So the questions are uh, actual questions that coincided with milestones or inflection points or just a fork in my own life. So it's I actually laid out these, these questions, about 12 of them, coincided with exact points that I can remember. And some of them would be, for instance, what if I did the opposite for 48 hours? This is a question that I asked myself when I had my first job out of college. I was talking about suffering. I mean, my desk was in the fire exit. It was completely illegal. You know, slept under the desk the whole nine yards. And don't regret a minute of it, but I was a technical sales guy, mm. uh, outbound sales guy. So we had inside sales, outside sales. And my job was to close deals with CTOs and CEOs for multi million dollar data storage systems. At that point, storage area networks with fiber channel. And what I realized at one point was that all of the seasoned sales guys who were doing far better than I was doing were making phone calls between nine and five. Those were the office hours. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I'm clearly not doing an effective job mimicking them. What if I did the opposite for 48 hours? It's a very recoverable experiment. Right? If it doesn't work, then I can always go back to what I was doing. Doing the opposite meant making my calls between, let's just say, 6.30 and 8.30, and then 5.30 to 7, 7.30. And uh, it was just a hypothesis. Uh, maybe I can get a hold of the people I need to get a hold of more effectively when the gatekeepers aren't there. Right. And that's exactly what happened. Wow. And I started booking more meetings and closing more deals than, than the majority of the guys in the